Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and I'm here to talk about the race of beings known as the Guardians. This episode forms a part of my series on all of the lore and history of Elite Dangerous. On October 27th, 3302, perhaps one of the most significant discoveries in human history was made by Commander X-Death, an ancient ruin of a seemingly technologically advanced alien civilization. It didn't take long for the galactic community to spring into action and bring their full focus to bear upon this strange location. It was instantly clear that these ruins were extremely old, the construction of them having long ago began to fade and ebb. However, within the ruins were artifacts, apparently uncaring to the passage of time in what appeared to be pristine condition. Most notable of these, on initial inspection to the ruins, are obelisks, strange prism structures gathered together in group formations. Upon closer inspection, further artifacts can be seen. Relic pillars, a short tower-like structure that emerges from the ground upon approach, and scattered around the ruins are various cans containing numerous objects, each of them of a suitable size to fit within a vehicle. Whilst this ruin was of a truly amazing discovery, it was soon suspected that it was not a lone example of this civilization, and indeed this turned out to be true. As of mid-3303, close to 200 of these ruins have been discovered in and around the Sinwave sector. It didn't take long for the galactic experts to get involved with the ruins. The engineer Ram Tar was among the first of these. Displaying a strong interest in the beings that inhabited these locations, Ram Tar offered the galactic community specialized software that was able to interface with and decrypt the data contained within the obelisks, for these stranger prisms appear to be a form of data bank. From this endeavor, vast quantities of data were revealed, detailing much of the history of the race of beings that had created these places. They called themselves the Guardians, and by all reckoning, they went extinct between one and two million years ago. This significant time frame is a testament to the nature of the Guardian technology, which has survived unscathed and fully intact. The collected data revealed far more than the age of the Guardian civilization. It also revealed historical, biological, scientific, political, and social data. In short, enough information has been discovered to build a detailed picture of the Guardian race. The Guardians evolved as hunters, perhaps not too dissimilar to humans. However, they took a very different path to humanity. Eventually, this race organized themselves into clans and were soon to be extremely technologically proficient. Their early disagreements and conflicts were resolved through individual combat. However, eventually this escalated to battles and ultimately full warfare. This accelerated their drive for weaponized technological development. Eventually, the Guardians were brought under the control of a single clan an event which led to a social revolution. As their technology continued to develop, they soon spread across the stars and established themselves upon other worlds. Rapidly, they became increasingly dependent upon their technology. Two of their most significant developments were the Monolith Network, a vast interstellar communication system, and artificial intelligence. In many ways, the Guardian's dependency upon the Monolith Network, AI, as well as neural implants became intertwined and inseparable. This was one of the main causes for the downfall of their civilization, as large numbers began to rely upon the total dependence upon technology. A new religious caste eschewing the technological ways of the Guardians soon rose to power, and those who refused to stop using neural implants were exiled. The AI had also become sufficiently advanced as to attempt to become its own independent race of beings. However, the information on the AI after this point in their development appears to have been purged from the records. Although the main race of Guardians are now extinct, some researchers believe that clusters of the exiled Guardians, as well as perhaps the race of artificial intelligence, may live on somewhere in the galaxy. Interest in the Guardian research has remained high, and on February 10th, 3303, data came to light from a Professor Melville an expert in xenobiology. Melville 
had spent some months on an expedition, and he believed that the Guardians had occupied a significant area of space similar in size to that of the human-occupied area. He provided data on his investigations, and this was which managed to garner him wider support from the galactic community to begin a search for the other alien ruins. Indeed, he was correct, and it was this which was the main drive which led the galactic community to discover the many other alien ruins. Commanders from all corners of inhabited space have travelled to these ruins, some on mere sightseeing trips, others to attack targets of opportunity. Most, however, have journeyed into Guardian space at the behest of the engineer Ramtar on a mission of significant financial reward. Whilst the Guardians remain an elusive mystery, it is clear that in the past they have played a key part within galactic affairs. It is unknown whether or not they have had contact with other alien races such as the Thargoids who may or may not have existed at that time. Some believe, however, there is a connection between these two vastly different species. A tenuous link to the past, from gathered Guardian history told of their creation of an advanced biological warfare system. Some suspect these biological creations could have perhaps been the Thargoids themselves. However, the extreme differences of Thargoid biology compared to the Guardians makes this seem unlikely. A far stronger link, however, one with physical evidence, was uncovered in recent times. In a separate, unrelated discovery, humans have located vast numbers of Thargoid planetary structures. Residing within the center of these organic complexes are strange machines of an unknown technology. When activated with Thargoid tech, these machines display what appears to be an intricate galactic map. Whilst the Thargoid machine does not react to any human technology, it has been found to have an extremely violent reaction to Guardian technology. When a Guardian relic is placed within the machine, a most violent reaction occurs, triggering blasts that contain enough force to destroy vehicles in close proximity. Many cite this as evidence of a relationship between both the Thargoids and the Guardians, and if indeed such a relationship had existed, some suggest it may have not been on the best of terms. Whilst it appears the Guardian race now resides firmly in the past, their technology extends into the present. And as we gain an ever better understanding of that technology, it remains more than possible that it could have a significant influence over the future. Check out my YouTube channel for further details on the Guardians, and be sure to check back often for all lore-related videos. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.